Welcome everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior, and this is Genius of Sephiros, the uh, weekend version. Um, this is a, another Toho RPG. Um, it's one I haven't finished, actually. I, I've played the original, non-weekend version. Um, the weekend version is one that balances things and uh, fixes drop rates and uh, learn rates and has an easy mode, has a, adds, adds a bunch of little things that pretty much fixes the game a little bit more. It also uh, r runs better than the original game. It also includes the expand the, uh, the, exp the extra mode, or not the extra mode, but the extra uh, content after the main story, kind of like how um, Labyrinth of Toho had Labyr Labyrinth of Toho had their own little story and had their own little extra mode after that. So, um, before I hit the press the any key here, um, uh, this is your opportunity to avert your eyes because it's going to highlight one of my saves, which is going to show a lot of characters that we won't have yet. So if you don't want any spoilers, look away right now. Alright, pressing the button. Okay, you can look back now. So I shifted over so I can, so you guys won't see it. But yeah, I, there's a there's a number of characters. There's not as many characters as there was in Labyrinth of Toho, but um, I'll do some comparisons to it as I go along, as well as comparisons between uh, the the weekend version and well this version and the non-weekend version, just, just to show you how much they've changed. Um, I've been holding this game back, uh, holding this game back uh, as far as a let's play is concerned because of the difficulty. I never, like I said, I didn't beat this game. I got rather far into it, but I was like, I just got tired of grinding. And grinding in this game doesn't make as much of a difference as it does in Labyrinth of Toho. And the encounters just got really hard. Like, random account even random encounters were deadly in that game. Like, even more so than Labyrinth of Toho. So, um... Alright, um... Another warning is... this. Like I said, this is gonna be like Labyrinth of Toho, so it's gonna be a long Let's Play. So... It, it's gonna be probably over 100 parts long or something ridiculous like that. And... I will do all my grinding off screen, but any counters I have during the actual gameplay, I will show. And also, this intro scene, I cannot control the rate that the text goes through, like the dialogue goes through. So, I'll try to read it as quickly as I can, but if I can't keep up, I will just shut up and let you guys pause the video to watch the read it if you need to. And then I'll continue, I'll try to summarize after it's all been said and done. So, let's go ahead and get started with this uh, overly long intro sequence. Also, there's some frame rate issues during the cutscenes, but it's not too serious. In fact, it'll help me read it fast, uh, keep up with the reading. Alright, we'll do uh, this save. So, let's see, press this button? Yeah. Hakari Shrine. Phew. It's so warm. It seems like the sun is angry about something. Yeesh. When is it this hot? I don't feel like doing any work at all. It seems like just yesterday that Biakira and her group arrived here. Time really goes by quickly. Like I said, very fast. Huh. Summer, huh? Missed. Luan Zuka, I think it's how it's pronounced. Missed at this time of day. Could this be? Here's Sami's magic shop. Ah. Hey, hey. This may be a real dark place. This thing uh, makes me. The heck's up with this mist, right? Some of the text is cut off. It's uh, it's due to the translations, unfortunately. Missed. Missing the middle of the day certainly is unusual. Akio. Akio. Excuse me, I'm coming in. Yes, Miss Keen. The expression on your face. What could have happened? 
We have a serious matter here. Eh? The village. The village is... Anyway, just come with me. Oh. It, it hurts. But what is this? I do not know for sure. But it seems likely that this mist is the cost. This mist? Once the mist appeared, incidents like what you see here it started to occur. Do you know anything about this, Akio? Puzzling bamboo thicket. Th this is... Hey, are you alright? Ugh. What about you? How are you? I, I can't lift a finger. You don't have fingers. Dismissed. Is this miss the cause? Corindo. Oh, this is that mist? It's even entering the shop. Is it really that humid? Whatever the ca case, I hope it doesn't damage my goods. Oh, a customer. Ugh. What's going on? Is this a gas attack? Sunflower! Is he like sunflower? Freeze it, then whack it on the head. What a breakthrough. Freezing sunflowers turns them into really deadly weapons. I'm gonna use it for some pranks right now. Mm -hmm. Huh? A yokai on the ground. Ah! Wah! So many yokai aren't moving. What's happening to my stronghold? Yokai Mountain. <laughs> Nedra just sleeps through it. Uh, Miorin Temple. What what's what's going on? Hijiri! Miss Byakuran! Yes, Marasa and everyone, I am aware of this situation. The mist had already reached my area some time ago. It appears that this mist is someone's idea of some form of mischief. That's a relief. Thankfully, it does not seem to be too serious yet. Just what could this mist be? It would be difficult to ascertain that at the present, but... But why is it only yokai who are suffering from the mist? Is it something unnatural that specifically targets yokai? This may be something I will have to inquire about. Ay 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 ay! Here too! There too! Yokai Sea of Trees. I'm getting messages, sorry guys. Here too. There too. There are so many yokais who have collapsed. This mess must be the cause, right? Whatever the case, this has the makings of a new scoop. I'm feeling a little sluggish too, but I can, I'm a strong girl. I can handle this. Alright, it's time to search for huge stories. Yakima Household. This mist has even reached the Yakima Mansion, it seems. If it has gotten this far, Lady Yukari must be informed of this. Lady Ran! Lady Ran, Lady Ran! Chen? Lady Ran, it's an emergency. This mist, this mist! Chen, calm down. I already know what's going on with the mist. What should we do, Lady Ran? Everywhere's all filled with mist now. Yes. The effect of the mist is itself is not terribly major. 
but it, for it to envelop all of Gensokia, the scale of it is certainly troubling, and the source of it is still unknown. Just what could it be, I wonder? Yes, I really wonder it, it, what it could be, too. Lady Yukari! I'm home. Welcome back. Lady Yukari. What do you think about this ongoing matter? Hmm. It might be quite troubling, as Rand said. It is true that the power of the mist is, no is nothing to sh sh shout about, but by looking at the nature of the mist, it's clear that... I don't... sorry. If the other party decided this to... Uh, wow. That was all cut off. Yes, it is an incident. Don't steal people's li other, li uh, other people's lines. It goes way too fast. Sorry, guys. <laughs> we'll leave it to that girl. Gee, I wonder who that girl is. The genius of Sephiroth. There you go. I really hope it doesn't always scroll through the dialogue like that. Because it's very annoying. As I was able to keep up through most of it, but that last part was just way too fast. Oh, I do control it now, I think. Alright, give me one moment. Be right back. Alright, and we're back. So I... It's so warm again today. Even for the middle of summer, this heat is practically murderous. I may be serving God, but I wish I had someone to serve me right now, too. Phew. Ah, uh, if only someone could supply me with some cooling ghost of some sort. Yo. You look as free as ever, Raymo. Don't be rude. I'm in the middle of working, can't you see? Ah, uh, sure, sure. You're taking a break from your work, you mean? Well, pretty much. That's excellent timing. Because the great Marissa has brought a present uh, for you. A present? What is it? A ghost? Uh, what do you mean a ghost? What I've got here is some um, mushrooms preserved in miso. Ah, uh, I see. From that dejected look on your face, I guess you feel a little cheated. But you know. Put these miso preserved mushrooms with sake and you get the best. Those mushrooms. They're mushrooms that grow in the force of magic, right? Hmm, yeah, they are. You think those uh, strange things are edible? Furthermore, it's so hot, it's like they're melting. Hey now, you're in a real bad mood, huh? Uh, anyway, what are you here for, Marissa? At this place, under the blazing hot sun, splendidly absorbing all the sunlight, for you to come here to this absolutely swirling sweltering place. You must have a good reason to, right? Nah, I was just bored. It's summer, huh? Sure is. Oh my, I see you're still here. Oh, you're a rare sight around these parts. What's up? Lady Conoco wanted to share this with you. We received several of these from the neighborhood ca Kappa. Something from her? What is it, a ghost? Huh? Um, it's just cucumbers. Ah, oh, I see. Oh, by the way, Rainbow's kind of a jerk in this game. <laughs> um, did I do something wrong? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Uh-huh. Then again, Rainbow's usually always a jerk. By the way, something just caught my attention. Yes? What did you mean with what you said earlier? Eh? You said that I was still here. Ah, you mean that. I had just thought that knowing you, you would have surely departed the shrine by now. I don't get it. Eh? I'm talking about the matter of the mist that's caused, that's causing an uproar around the land. It's an incident, so I thought that Rainbow would have headed out to resolve it by now. Ah, so you meant that. By the way, if you thought no one would be here, yet you still came, you must have a lot of free time. Well, Lady Conical told me to, uh, to, so... Wait, that is not something I expect to hear from you. She's got that right. You're not exactly one to talk either. Anyway, why are you still here? Well, you know, 
The only ones afflicted by this mist are yokai, right? And an incident about mist feels like old hat by now. My duty is regarding the extermination of yokai. Humans aren't being hurt by it, so for those y yokai, well, I don't care. I see. I somehow think I can understand why. My, how cold of you all. Ah, oh, wah! It isn't as simple as that, you know. Th that scared me. She always appears abruptly like that. Oh, right, Yukari. You were going into my place and eating up my refreshments again, weren't you? Behave yourself and stop that already. It was extremely delicious. Grrr. I wonder if it's okay to exterminate you. My, my, how scary. In that case, would you like a ghost as a present in return for what I had a what I ate? Sorry. You were eavesdropping on me, too? Anyway, that matter isn't important. She's dodging the subject. Totally dodging it. I'll exterminate you. M more importantly, Raymo, do you truly think it doesn't hurt humans? What do you mean? It is true that this incident, uh, this incident mist is not causing uh, any pain to humans. However, if you think about it, an it another way and look at the situation where only yokai are in pain, and so, ah, uh, you can't mean. You think some human did this. Correct. In fact, that opinion has been circulating around all the yokai recently. Then they'll be likely to launch attacks on humans. So, do you think still think that humans won't be hurt by this incident? So, so that's what, what you were trying to get at all the while. <laughs> I still don't feel like it. What are you saying? Let's go and resolve this incident. What? Hold it. Why are you suddenly so motivated by, about this? It's a crisis for humans, don't you think? It's an incident, isn't it? And as Shrine Maidens of Gensokyo, isn't it our duty to resolve incidents like this? Heh <laughs> Her real intention's something else, huh? Don't you think, Marissa? Eh? Um, hmm, well, I guess so. I'm bored anyway, so if that's the case, I might as well come along too. Marissa, even you? The duty of the Hakurei Shrine Maiden is not just yokai extermination. It is to resolve incidents as well. Isn't that right, Rainbow? Alright, I get it. I just have to get this done and over with, right? Jeez. <laughs> well then, I'll leave the rest to you. Yes, yes, feel free to count on me. Phew. Hey, hey, I've heard everything every, uh, everyone was saying. Your everyday pure and honest uh, Shemamaru is here. And the troublesome ones keep pouring in. Alright, I'll hear you out. What's your business here? Oh, nothing much. As the Hawker Shrine Maiden is ready to make her departure, she would certainly allow me the monopoly of all stories... rights... I guess so. Uh, what she wants is she wants the scoops, so she wants to come along. Just as expected. She's the same as ever, huh? With the current situation, wouldn't it be better to have as many companions as possible? Indeed, it will. I will most certainly be helpful. So exciting, you all. <sighs> Just do whatever you want. I shall take you up on your kind offer. Let's get this interview uh, started. First of all, to our incident re resolution expert, Miss Remu, where will you be going? Where will we be going? The ca cause of the incident is miss, uh, this miss, right? So it's either that Scarlet Devil Mansion's vampire or that drunken elusive Oni. Otherwise, it's probably some prank from that idiot in heaven. We don't know where Su Suika is right now. So since Romilia's nearby, we'll go and take her to the to task first. It'll that'll be my thanks for making me suffer through all this. Okay, now for something new from uh, the difference between the regular game and the weekend version is you have a mini map. So yeah, we have a mini map. But first things first, we're going back. Um. Until you finish the, uh, I think the first couple of uh, dungeons. By the way, there are dungeons in here in this game. Um, you'll have this help menu. From now on, you can use this sign to refer to uh, your destination. So, if you go to the sign, the Scarlet Devil Mansion is on the shore of Misty Lake, north of Hawkeye Shrine. If you're ever unsure where you're supposed to go to next, you can always go to this uh, this little sign here and just you know ram, ram, ram into it. The way you talk to and interact with things is just by running into it. It seems. By stepping into a magic cir a magical circle, HP, MP, bombs, and lives will be restored to their maximum. There is no save function. The game automatically saves when the menu is closed upon entering a magic circle or leaving a dungeon. So I'll just go ahead and step on this. 
There we go. We got ourselves a save. Also, we can pull up our menu. You have HP, MP, lives, and bombs. Now, the way this game works is, um, well, well, you know what HP and MP are. You use HP to stay alive. MP uh, is what you use for spells and, and skills. Lives, how it works is, every time you hit zero HP and you get taken down in combat, you will lose one life. If your lives ever reach zero, um, you will not you'll be erased, in which case you will not be able to participate in any further combats, and you will not get any experience from those combats. Um, after every combat, you always go back to full health, um, but you do not go, you do not recover MP, so it's kind of like uh, Labyrinth of Toho that way. Also, if you go to the whoops, wrong button. All right, in um, the weekend version, you have access to easy mode, which I'm going to leave on. Can I? Yeah. Uh, easy mode balance setting, that's all it talks about. But what it does is it makes enemies worth more experience. Um, you're, you'll be given a little bit more level difference uh, a buffer. Uh, as, you, as you get higher level, um, some the weaker monsters will get worth less and less experience until they're worth nothing. Easy mode gives you a little bit more of a buffer with that. Um, also, you, you take less damage, I think you deal more damage, and status effects work a lot more often, which is actually pretty useful. So, I'm going to leave it in easy mode just to see what the difference is. The number, select the number of backup saves, select, okay. That's not important. Everything else, uh, standard stuff. Uh, you can actually set it to lock certain things, like lock auto attack. All that does is make sure, it ensures that you don't accidentally press the wrong button and accidentally, like, retreat or auto attack. It's an odd set, it's an odd thing to have, but whatever. Also, um, this game is all about formations, as right now we got um, three formations. There's formations for um, various size parties. This one's for f these three are for um, four-person parties only. So you got uh, trickster formation, which if I activate it, it'll switch to this. It what it does is it'll make the front row have attack defense up, um, the middle will have attack up, and the rear will have magic up. If I switch back to this formation. It'll be, um, the front row gets attack up, and the, re uh, the rear gets defense and speed up. And then there's this, which is free fight, which is just a row, which everyone just get fights how they please, and they, it's, I think it's a, I think it's, uh, AI controlled, and everyone gets speed up. So, for right now, I'm just gonna leave it as is, and that's it. Now, there's some other stuff to this game, because you can actually have a maximum party uh, size party of five and one leader, which we don't have enough people to show that off just yet. Um, there's also, in this game, there's experience, which you use to level up, which will increase your stats and will teach you skills. And there's also growth, which will allow you to... Um, as you get more power, you'll be able to uh, distribute points to uh, various things, like... If you want to be a character that's really good with swords, you can do that. Um, every character has their own specific weapon, which Ramos is the Gohei, um, Marissa is the Broom, Sane is a Snake, I is a Fan. And they, each of them will have a proficiency in three of the generic weapons. Like Ramos go with sword, can use swords, spears, and stabs. There's knives, spears, and stabs from Marissa, and etc. There's also axes. Um, with these power points, you can actually... Um, you can either increase raw stats, which is just one for one, um, but you can also increase your ability with certain weapons, which will increase your stats, as well as unlock certain abilities and other things. Uh, let's see if I can show it off. There we go. Like, for example, if I get, um, if I spend uh, six points total on Broom, it would get me Leg Sweep, Broom Training 1, and Vampiric Staff. So that means I would get uh, a, a special attack, stat bonus, and then converts 1% of physical damage to MP, which is kind of neat. And then there's these, which are the, um, specific to the character's skills, like for Marissa, you can either have her focused in laser attacks, like Master Spark, or you can, actually, I'm thinking, I'm, yeah, sorry, I'm thinking differently. You can have laser attacks, like, um, everything except, uh, Master Spark, then there's power, which is specialized in Master Spark. You have magic, which is kind of a generic uh, buff buff everything type uh, skill tree. And then you have astronomy, which focuses on elemental attacks. So Ney has things like, you know, skills with um, improve your ability with healing spells, status increasing spells, 
or get better with attacking or just increase your tanking and uh, MP. So you can actually, um, you, can, you have a lot of flexibility in this game uh, with the power points. You can actually build your characters kind of how you wish. Um, you can't exactly turn like a, 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 a mage into a tank or anything that drastic, but you do have a lot of flexibility. Also, you can reset your skills anytime you wish, so it's not that big of a deal if you put your points in the wrong places. Right now, everyone has one point, but I'll deal with that later. Alright. Um, Skill-wise, eh, I'll go over those later. Alright, for now, the game has me always auto-running. If I want to, I can, I can walk, but that's not a big deal. Alright, first things first. I'll go ahead and just reveal the entire map for you guys. That's the, um, that's where Biakiran is at. Or, that's her residence, anyway. Also, areas that are revealed but you can't go to yet will be, will be gray. So that's the, um, that's Entei here. I can't go there yet. This game takes place after her, um, fantastic flying object, or whatever it's called. Which is, um, which was like Toho 13 or something like that. So everything, it takes place after uh, introducing characters like Biakaran and stuff. Alright, so this is the Sunflower Field. Should be a human village. Oh, there it is. There's the human village. There's Scarlet Devil Mansion. It will, yeah, for a place that you're first introduced to that you need to go to, it'll always have a name outside of it. But after you visit it once, it'll go away. Alright, that's the uh, Underworld. That is Yokai Mountain, I believe. This is the, um... What's it called? I can't remember, sorry. Oh, here's the entrance to the, um... I want to say the Nether Realm, the, but I don't think that's correct. Pretty much where Yuka and Yomo are at. Um, here's Magic Forest, here is Corindos. I don't remember what this place is. Oh well, well, we'll we'll learn about it later. Anyway, first things first. We're going to act, we're going to go to the human village. Are you there, Akio? It is open. Come in. It is rare to see the Hakure Shrine Maiden's face in this mansion. Not to mention everyone else. What would the occasion be? That is a silly question, isn't it? Indeed it is. We came to hear your opinion about who, who the incident's culprit is. Miss Akio, will you lend us your knowledge? I am sorry, but I do not have anything to impart to you. I have investigated several things regarding the incident, but there are still many things unknown to me. To put it succinctly, it is impossible to get even guess at present. I see. Hmm, you really got nothing. Even if you know, if you yeah, know nothing about the culprit, isn't there anything else you can do? Let me see. I shall hand this over to you then. What is this? Those are synthesis re recipes. It details the necessary materials that are to be refined into a specific item. I have heard that Mr. Rinazuki from Corindo is offering synthesis services. If you bring these to his place, I believe they will serve to help you. Oh, synthesis. I remember hearing about that from Corin, uh, Corin too. Since we have these, let's pay him a visit, Rayma. Perhaps we all. If we have time, we'll go see him about it. I may be able to help in the future too. Please pay me a visit if you are in the vicinity. I'll do just that. Thank you. Thanks, Akio. This is the duty of the Akio family. Nothing. Think nothing of it. Gaia blade, the Onwen, the flame anchor, the incandescent buckler. Sword Barrier, Bone Shield, Slime Shield, Inferno Robe, Ice Robe, Gaia Robe, Thunder Robe, and that's it for right now. As you beat bosses in this game, you if you come back to Akio, she may have more recipes for you. Unfortunately, that still doesn't unlock Corindo for us. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, let's go back in here. Doo, doo, doo. First things first. Please don't enter there. Yeah, you can't go that way. Oh yes, I've heard that, that Miss Moko Fujiwara appears to have undertaken patrol of the bamboo forest. If you explain the situation to her, perhaps she may be willing to help your cause. And that's it. 
Alright. Now what that does is it unlocks the bamboo forest. Okay, just making sure I got everything here. Alright, we'll go into the... Now, there are... Now, right now we have four characters. It is possible to get two characters that you don't get till later, right off the bat. One of them's Moko, the other one is Byakuren. Um, you have to do like a little special thing to get them. Um, if you don't get them, you can you will automatically get them at a certain point of the game. Like once you visit Entei, you'll you'll get Moko, and once you visit, I think it's Yokai Mountain or something, or maybe it's the um, once you go to Heaven. You'll, meet, you'll run into Byakuren. So you can pick up these characters. They won't have any special dialogue until later, though. But they'll, they're pretty useful since you'll be able to go right into a six-person party. So let's go ahead and here. Bamboo Forest. Puzzling Bamboo Thicket. Alright. We got multiple directions we can go through here. Now what you are supposed to do is you go up. Up. Down. Down. I'm sure some of you old school players know this code. Left. Right. Left. Right. There's Mocha. Yes, yeah, so you have to do the Konami code. If you do the uh, you do the Konami code, and you'll find Mocha. For the soccer. Ah, there she is. Oh, you're... We finally found you, Mocha. How dare you make us walk all over. Honestly, that took far too much effort. Hmm, you looking for me doesn't happen often. What's the matter? Are you not aware of the incident that has recently broken out? We have been getting ready to resolve it. We figured that the patrol leader of the Bamboo Forest would undoubtedly lead us, lend us her power in order to protect Inzokia, which is why we came. I get it now. Will you help us out, Mocha? Lots of yokai in the forest have been hurt. I've also been worried about this incident re uh, lately. Alright, I'll join. Yes, thank you very much. Besides, thanks to, the, to this incident, I've got no need to patrol. So I've got plenty of time to spare. I see. That makes it just right, uh, sort of. Let's work to well together, Moka. Yeah, let's. Fujiwara no Moko became an ally. Hinatori Heaven Dance Formation gained. Alright, so what we can do now is we can form a party. And we'll just go Moko, Raymo, Aya. Now if I want to, I can actually switch to Commander immediately and just take however many people I picked and then a Commander, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. And Marissa Sinai. Decide. Applied. Now my formations, I have more formations now. These are five-person formations. So you got free fight, you got Hinatori Sky Dance. That. Uh, it's, what it does is the middle becomes super baiting, which means they attract more attacks than um, other characters. Um, their defense goes up, their speed goes down, and they pre defend, which means if they get attacked before they act, they automatically are considered defending. Kind of like if you already if you had pick, picked the defense option instead of some other action. The front row gets more attack, but defense down. The rear gets more magic up, but defense down. So it's an offensive type of uh, formation, but you do have a tank. Um, Gitsokyo's fastest. This is a speed type formation. All speed up, all, um, defense down. Also, like how close together characters are, it does decide certain uh, AOEs and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. As well as, as well as if you have characters in a line formation, there are attacks that go by row and line. It, um, area effects like that. So if you have a line and someone does like a column attack, it's going to hit everybody. Uh, we got Moria Wall, which is a defensive formation. Uh, front becomes the tank, front center gets defense up, and uh, that's about it. Master Star. Now some of these are obviously named after the characters you picked up. Um, Henatori Skydance is from Moko, Gensokyo's Fastest is from Aya, Moria Wall is from uh, Sane, Master Star is from Marissa. Which we'll go ahead and do next. Master Star, best for launching Danmaku. Front gets defense up, attack down. Mid rear gets magic up, speed down. Then you got Hakuri type, which is kind of a standard formation. You got uses the center character as bait for attacks, and you got front front row gets attack up, rear gets magic attack up, and then center gets pre-defend. So we're just gonna leave that alone for right now. And 
Alright. What time is it? 32, so, okay. It's about time I go ahead and call this a video. So what I'm going to do is go in here first. Yo, sorry for bothering you, Biakaran. Wait, she ain't around? Ah, it's... Welcome in, everyone. Afternoon, Maros uh, Marasa. Is Biakaran not present today? Oh, Hitiri. She is in here right now. She said she was going to investigate the incident and left right after. I, uh, yeah, so she isn't around anymore. She's already left on her own. Yes. With the situation as it is, no one would have felt their heart ache more than Hijiri did. Do you know when Biakaran will return? No, I don't. She did m not mention that, as she was already hurrying out. Perhaps she'll perform a cursory investigation. Maybe she won't in uh, return till the incident is resolved. Hmm, so no one knows when she'll be back. This is a tough one. What shall we do, Reyma? Hmm, we could always wait for Biakaran to come back. But we should be setting out to resolve this incident, too. Uh, we don't know how long she... Let's see. We don't know how long she'd be if we can't spare the time. Let's just move on. Yeah. Alright, we'll be leaving Marasa. Okay. Please be careful. Okay. Now what you can do... First, I'm gonna go ahead and leave. And I'll re-enter. Now. This is kind of a ridiculous requirement, but, actually, there may not be any, uh, may be in mortal danger, but it pains me to see the yokai suffering. What, an, what could be going on with this mist? So much suffering, I feel sorry for them. Is there anything that can be done? Gas pass. It seems that the human village is similar to what is happening here. It is probably the same for all of Gensoki as well. Can't go through that way. Oh. I'm a human, so this does not affect me. But this ghost here is friend of uh, Shinobu, and he has collapsed. This is depressing. And dot dot dot. Okay. Can I take anything? Nope. Alright. So, Yakaran won't be- they don't know when Yakaran will be back. Now what you can do, is you can either just ignore her, and just pick her up automatically way later in the game, or you can wait one entire hour I'm serious, one real real time hour in this room and Biakaran will return here and you can pick her up right right then and there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that off screen. So before I go ahead and call this a video, I'll go ahead and explain a few things. What um, so so those who couldn't keep up, there's a mist there's a there's a white mist that's been going across the of Gensokyo, all of Gensokyo. And it's kind of the opposite of the crimson mist. Instead of uh, harming blocking out the sun or harming uh, humans, it it only hurts yokai, and it it really pretty much devastates these weak yokai, like the um, the ghosty here and the um, freaking puffball there. I can't remember its name for some reason. But uh, oh, Kadama, that's what it's called. So originally, uh, Rainbow didn't care, but Yukari was like, "Hey, if all these uh, yokai are getting hurt and not humans, they're gonna blame the humans, and the stronger yokai are gonna attack the humans." So she wants to resolve the incident just to avoid some sort of conflict like that. And due to the fact that it's white mist, um, she thought of three d three uh, possible um, culprits. One is an oni, which is actually uh, her name is Suika, which uh, they don't know where she's at, so they can't really talk to her. Suika has uh, has an ability to turn into mist and stuff, though it's nothing this widespread. Um, the other character they mentioned was someone in heaven. Um, I believe that is Tenshi or Tenchi, however you pronounce it, but um, she does involve things with like weather and stuff, so it could possibly be her. And the other uh, person, culprit is of course the people, the people that caused the Scarlet Mist incident, which is the Scarlet Devil Mansion with Remilia. So they're gonna head to that place first and see what's going on. So that's the reason why we're going to the Scarlet Devil Mansion first. Anyway, this video has gone on long enough. I will be hanging out here, and when we come back, I will. I will hopefully have Biakaran showing up. So until then, I'm the Depressed Eeyore, and this was the Genius of Sapphira's weekend. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.